In this quick video, we will learn how to symbolize a parks layer, which is a polygon, and also a water layer. Because they're so simple, we'll do two polygon layers together. The first that we're going to choose is the parks layer. We open up the symbology the same way. In this case, instead of clicking on a point in the single symbol, we click on the polygon symbol. From there, we would activate the style references and put a check next to the symbol if we don't already have it, and I do. Let me go back here to style references. And notice civic is already checked. By the way, I also have environmental checked. I'll say cancel since I didn't choose anything and this time we're going to choose a color based on a name so we'll choose parks and open space scroll down here's park and open space just click it everything will be set fine it's an outline color we're actually going to get rid of an outline and say no outline you could dive deeper into this but for now this is okay let's click apply and see what it looks like and notice our parts are now symbolized things will look different as we symbolize other items so let's tidy up what we need here and then move on to the water in this case to tidy up, we're going to choose the display tab and we're going to change the transparency to 50%. This will help us see things that are beneath it, such as the hillshade that will symbolize a little bit later. Clicking apply, you notice they get a little bit lighter and the hillshade is starting to show through somewhat. We're going to do two things that we've done previously. First of all, in general, we'll change the name to Parks. And then back to Symbology. Label appearing next to the symbol in the table of contents. Let's just call this Tacoma Area Parks. Using good uh, title case punctuation. And click OK. Notice Tacoma Area Park shows up, Parks is changed there, and the parks look good on our map, or as good as they can with these other colors that are still not 100% correct. Moving right along, let's fix this water layer. Since the parks are all taken care of, we'll right click, well actually let's just click on the symbol, and in environment, we're going to choose ESI4. First, I have to scroll down to environment. There's environment. And ESI4 is a good blue for the water. I'll say OK. And it changes it a little bit. Now, I need, actually need to get into the symbology. So we'll go back here. Symbology. Label appearing. Next to the symbol, we'll call this Puget Sound. And let's change the name to Water Bodies. Apply, OK. And now we have Puget Sound will show in the legend, and Water Bodies is the name of the layer. And that is how you symbolize uh, vector polygons. In the next step, we'll look at a lines data set.